New Canadian VOC Regulations. Welcome to another installment of NextReg on Compliance. My name is Mike Moffat. I'm the Director of Communications here at NextReg. A topic that comes up quite frequently here at NextReg is uh, VOC concentration limits in Canada. Our clients want to know what the state of the regulations are and what the various concentration limits are. Now, there are a set of new regulations. We can't obviously talk about the actual concentration limits for the hundreds of product classes covered. So if you need the actual uh, regulations, just please email me at info, info at nextreg.com, and I'd be uh, happy to send those to you. So instead, what we'll do is just kind of look at the big picture here. So there are three uh, sets of regulations uh, in Canada that we need to consider. The first is architectural coatings. Now, under the architectural coatings uh, VOC limit regulations, there are 53 product categories. And the limits in those, uh, in those 53 categories are what we would say are largely aligned or basic, basically similar to uh, the US's OTC model rule. So they're, they're, they're quite similar um, in both definitions and the limits. So there are some Im implementation dates you need to be aware of. So the first is your sort of final date to manufacture or import um, chemicals before the new limits take place. And that date's already passed. That, that date's September 9th, 2010. But there's a provision that if there's um, chemicals already on the, the shelf or you know, you've already got existing inventory, what's your timeline to sell this? So what's your sell through date? And it's September 9th, 2012. So this video is being shot in late September 2010. So there's a little bit of time there. Um, note that these, there are extended deadlines for four of the 53 product categories. So there are some upper limits, I think stretching all the way out to, I think 2014, 2015 uh, for these dates. Okay, so that's the first set of regulations. The second is for automotive re refinishing products. This, uh, this covers 14 different categories. It's largely aligned with the CARB uh, SCM rule. And again, your manufacturing import date has already passed, June 19th, 2010. So that means you're expected to be compliant already um, with the new limits. Uh, and the sell-through date is coming up very, very quickly. It's December 19th, 2010. So there's not a whole lot of time left to sell uh, old inventory compliant under the old rules. The final regulation you need to be aware of is the certain consumer products regulation. Now, this regulation is not in force, it's only in draft form. And because it's only in draft form, we don't have final dates yet for the manufacturing import date or the sell-through date. But what we do know is this, that it's going to cover 98 categories, or at least the draft covers 98 categories, it could, it could change. Um, and again, it will be largely aligned with the CARB uh, CONS 1 rule. And it's going to cover things like personal care products, so your hairsprays and, and other things like that, maintenance products, spray adhesives, and so on. So th obviously this is just a primer uh, for VOC um, limit compliance. If, again, if you need the actual regulations, I'd be happy to send them to you. Please send me an email. Um, so the, the topics we choose for these videos are based on uh, feedback we've received from our clients and viewers. So if you have any topics that you would like covered in this video series, please shoot me an email at info, info at nextreg.com. Take care. This presentation and all the information contained herein is not intended to replace or be used in place of the judgment of a qualified regulatory compliance professional. Regulations and interpretations of regulations can change rapidly, so please consult a qualified regulatory compliance professional before starting any project.